Hey everybody, welcome back to Vikings Connected. This is Chris Hockey. My name's Erin Newberg, and it is time for our brand new game show, The ViQ Test. I've loved it so far. Thank you very much. Who's up this week? Well, you saw Linville Joseph, and he scored the touchdown catching that fumble out of midair. The guy who caused the fumble was Steven Weatherly, and he's an interesting guy, and this week he's my guest on The ViQ Test. Hello. And welcome to the ViQ test featuring Stephen Weatherly. It's good to see you, sir. How are you? Fantastic. Glad to be here. You feeling smart? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you consider yourself the smartest person on the team? I feel like I can hold my own. I feel like you are. Player. I'll probably tell every person who comes in here that. But for right now, you're the smartest person I know. Not even on the squad, just period. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Got it. The ViQ twist. Mm -hmm. Twist. Question number one. It's well documented that you have no problem solving a Rubik's Cube. What Vikings color is not on a Rubik's Cube? Is it A, yellow, B, white, or C, purple? C, purple. Final answer? Yes. He is smart. Bitcoin <laughs> is considered what? A, straight cash, homie. B, a myth, or C, a cryptocurrency? C, a cryptocurrency. Final answer. Yes. Shooby dooby blah blah blah. Correct. <laughs> right? That is it. Where does the sun set? Ha 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 ha. This is funny. The east, the west, or it does not set. Because the earth. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, because the earth is flat. <laughs> And be careful because I am a flat earther. The answer is B. <laughs> Sets in the West. But, but the concept of the earth being flat should be definitely explored by serious like people. I'm just saying, just give us a little bit of the budget, US government, and just put it all to rest. Why not? You have the money. Think about it, NASA. B, final answer. He goes with B in the final answer and quite an interesting concept for the US government. They're avoiding the question. They are, they can easily just squash it. Why as as, not? As far as I'm concerned, you are correct. Thank you. Next question. You're killing this so far. <laughs> you played football in the SEC while at Vanderbilt. Do you admit that? Yes. Great. Which school is not a member of the Southeastern Conference? A, South Carolina. B, North Carolina. G, C, Georgia. G? B. North Carolina. Final answer. Yes. Of course. That is correct. You attended Vanderbilt, as we mentioned. Which teammate attended a school that's located in the same time zone as Vanderbilt? This is a toughie. Mm -hmm. A, Linville Joseph. B, Sheldon Richardson. Or C, Everson Griffin. Hmm. Let's see. B, Sheldon Richardson. Final answer. Yes. Correct. Wow. You're just flying through this. You need a break or are you okay? I'm ready. Diamonds are almost entirely made up of which element? A, zinc, B, gold, or C, carbon? Compressed carbon. That's not one of the choices. Sorry, C, carbon. Correct. Carbon, you are correct, sir. You can't be smarter than the questions themselves. <laughs> Originally a Vikings fishing village, Copenhagen became the capital of which country? A, Iceland, B, Denmark, or C, Greenland? He's sweating, I love it. <laughs> uh, geography. Okay, um, hmm. Copenhagen, Denmark, can I phone a friend? Hmm. Does this have internet access? It doesn't, and the okay. answer is no to both those questions. Okay, cool. Um, my final answer yes. will be D-E-B. D-E-B. Sorry, B. B. As Denmark. In Denmark is correct. Ah! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this we're going to use as a tiebreaker. Okay. Okay? You just need to tell me the exact number you think this is. Okay. How many lakes are truly in Minnesota? 
Well, I know it's not 10,000 because every time I say that, people say, actually, it's more. Um, do I get like a range or just an exact number? You just gotta throw out a number. It's like All counting right, cool. the jelly beans in a jar. All right, cool. Um, as close as you can without going over? Just as close as you can. Okay. 12,311. Is that how we're gonna end it? <laughs> how do you feel you did? Uh, pretty good. That, that geography question got me. Yeah, I loved it. That's a low blow. Yeah. Can we get a Rubik's Cube in here and see just how quickly you can do it? Sure, why not? Did you see the kid juggling a Rubik's Cube and solving it at the same time? Come on, some people are just overachievers and that's fine. I agree with you. I think but you overachieved on ViQ. Thank you! Perfect score, you nailed it. Thank you. I expected nothing less. Thank you. As I told you before we started, I figured you were the smartest guy on the team. Thank you. Anybody else do you think on this team capable of going perfect on this? Yes, we definitely have a Harvard grad in the locker room. Ooh, good point. With Nick Eason. Right. Um, and I also believe all the quarterbacks mm. definitely have. A... Even the, the one from Northwestern? Yes. Even that one? Yeah, even him. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Thank you. Perfect score.